So today is uh, today's a, a very interesting day. I've finished up all three of these paintings. Uh, the paintings have been framed and they're going back to the museum within, uh, within the next week. And what makes these paintings interesting is the fact that uh, they're never going to be in the same room again with each other. So one of these paintings is going to a, a private owner who purchased it. Uh, the other two paintings are going back to the museum. And uh, it's, kind of, it's kind of a sad, you know, sad moment. I've been working on them for quite some time. It's basically been a three to four year project if you go back in time to the one in the middle, the first one. And the second concept of Poe is not here. That's still hanging at the museum. And the two paintings that are almost twins, those are the, the third concept of the Poe concept. And that's uh, Edgar Allan Poe in the Van Gogh style. And um, it's, it's a strange moment because after they leave, they literally will never be in the same room again. And I've brought some, uh, I've brought some items to help illustrate that. Uh, it's like our, our lives, we, we walk through time and we don't you know, take time to notice the things that we do. And uh, after this video is shot, the paintings will leave and they'll go their separate ways and they'll, they'll go on a, on a journey that uh, I won't be a part of. They'll basically go, go out into the world. And over time, uh, like within the past three years, the middle Poe painting has been hanging in the museum for at least three years now, and thousands and thousands of people have seen it. So it has, uh, it has a life of its own. And it's going to continue long after Long after I'm gone, uh, people will still be looking at these. No one will know my name. No one will know my face. No one will know who did it. They'll just look at it and, and say, well, I, you know, I like that painting or you know, I, it's interesting. So to kind, of, to kind of share with you what I'm talking about, how you know, time, time marches on with and without us, uh, I brought a bunch of things out of my personal collection to show you. So first, what I have here is a, a copy of one of my comic books. A friend of mine gave this to me, and it's a 1950s comic. It's a 6.5 of an uh, issue of Airboy, and this came out in the 50s. It's got a 10 cent cover, and uh, a lot of us take for granted the fact that there was one day in history where it was the first day that this painting hit the shelves and little kids were running in there with their dimes, you know, their parents had just given them to, to buy a copy of this. And now it's 75 years later, give or take a few. Um, and now it's been graded, who knows how many, how many hands this book has passed through. And the same thing is going to happen to my painting. There's uh, something else out of my collection. This is a copy of the Post. This is a Saturday Evening Post in memory of uh, Kennedy being assassinated. So this is from 1963, the Norman Rockwell cover. And there was a time, just like this moment right here, uh, when Rockwell had finished this portrait of a great tragedy in America where the president was assassinated and then it went on to the magazine, and the magazine published it. And somewhere in uh, December, millions of people bought this to read about it. And now, <clears throat> you know, from 1963 to right now, I was actually born five years later. I was born in 68, five years later after this came out. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm 50 right now. So now, I just purchased this at a flea market for a quarter and put it in this mylar and it's a piece of uh, memorabilia now. Um, 
got these, I found these. These are Marvel Comics calendars. And here's a calendar from 1978. And I believe this one is from 77. And the same thing, there was a day, just like today, where these were brand new. And then they just go out and who knows where they ended up. In 77 and 78, I was still in elementary school. Um, I was reading, you know, reading these comic books and that was kind of, kind of my world. Now, to really, to really illustrate my point, I brought one of my most favorite antiques and this one is from 1890. And this is Captain Collier's Library. And this was published in 1890. It was a five cent novel. Um, and then if you look right there where it says uh, five cents, someone had stamped it with 10 cents. So they, they raised it a whole nickel to get this thing. I purchased this um, for $10 at an antique shop somewhere, uh, somewhere in Southern Maryland, right across the water. I was about to cross the water into Virginia. There was a, you know, the bridge. And I pulled over to just go look at the place and I found this and I had to have it. Um, so this is literally a hundred, you know, close to 120 years old, uh, give or take, you know. On the back of it, 1981 commemorative stamps. So, all of these things that I bought and brought, um, I brought them for this video to illustrate my point that these paintings are going to do the exact same thing that all this stuff does. They're going to, they're going to go on a journey, and my my career is going to be over. You know, my career is going to be done. I'll be, you know be passed away and these things will still be around somewhere they will change hands like for instance here's another very interesting uh, interesting thing it's a movie star magazine you know it's 25 cents I, I bought it for a quarter also so this goes back to the 50s and the cover is Liz Taylor and Richard Burton and when this came out I mean these people were right in the middle of their lives they were just going about their business. Annette Fonicello was on the cover and she says, Annette Fonicello says, I'll be a virgin when I marry. Well, good for Annette, you know. Annette Fonicello was uh, the original Mickey Mouse Club, for those of you that don't know who she is. And uh, apparently Liz Taylor also beat the shit out of Richard Burton and that's, you know, right here on the cover. It's a picture of him and uh, what really happens when Liz is alone with Dick? find out. I want to read this. And, uh, and also, Eddie came back to Debbie and stayed. It's a mystery. I gotta find out. And I've been waiting like a long time. So, anyway, this is what's going to happen. And these paintings, as I say, they will, they will never be in a room together again. So, I borrowed this room and I've got them set up, I've been taking these videos, and uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed the videos, and I hope you, you know, enjoy the commentary, and uh, thanks, for, thanks for watching.